let's move into some of our ROG components with first our ROG Region 3 Extreme. We have it in the white as well as the black. And we're going to talk a little bit about an evolution of this product line, but what I really want to speak to with this is actually the magnetic daisy chain setup. You might notice that there's no wires intermixed between each fan, yeah. or there isn't a fan hub specifically. These ones are great because they snap together and then they work right there. They have addressable RGB, and it's a really great high-end cooling solution. With these 360 rads, you're getting basically the highest level performance, and you're getting a really clean aesthetic look to it. Yeah, these are gorgeous. I mean, ROG always looks amazing. I noticed these from across the room, like the screen is so cool. Yeah. Do you, do you happen to know what like just the resolution of that is? Unfortunately, I don't for this one, but okay. I do have it for the next one. Ah. And while this is a 3.5 inch screen, that one's a 6.5. Better. That's gonna be really great. Better, more exciting. Yeah, let's move into some of our new X870 refresh motherboards. This is our X870E Apex. This one is, the Apex line has always really been focused on memory overclocking. Okay. We're getting both the, um, or the SSD, not SSDs, the RAM componentry right here, but also the DIM2 section, where you can add in a card that'll help you both customize or like check your memory performance, but also add in a PCIe slot that can do virtualization for RAM. Okay. So you can just, you can't download more RAM, but you can add more RAM yeah, very yeah. easily. <laughs> I love the Crosshair components mostly just for the build quality. If you ever pick this one up, it's heavy. Yeah. And something that's going to be a really great set piece in your mode, or your computer that's also giving you all of those same components. You're getting the Q latch right here for the uh, M.2 SSD. It's easy to pull off. It's easy to set up without a set screw for the, the PCS, uh, the, the M.2 uh, SSD. SSD. As well as you're still getting that Q really slim right here, as well as the Q antenna. And you're getting all of the AI features that we speak to with the AI OC, a one-top solution for overclocking, AI networking for network optimization, and AI cooling, as well as our AI advisor, which is something we can talk about a little bit more in the future. Absolutely. One last uh, high-end component I want to speak to is actually our Z890 BTF. This is an evolution of the BTF lineup, giving you the highest-end build possible in the Intel space, and it's just a really beautiful motherboard. They, you can yeah. see over here with the full heat shroud. You're seeing the uh, M.2 over here with the key release, but it's just going to look so great in the build. And thankfully, we do actually have a build to show off in just a minute. One last thing I want to talk about before that is our Z890H and our B-Series lineup. This is our B860s and these are our B850s. Okay. What's great is that we're accommodating multiple different form factors. You're going to see our I-Series for the ITX. You're going to see our G right here for an MATX board. And I really like this motherboard because I think the MFF form factor is something that's developing really interesting right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is a white motherboard that has all of those ROG uh, special components. It has a Thunderbolt 4 add-in. It's got, uh, well, USB 4 add-in and Thunderbolt 5, as well as it's having pretty much the same aesthetic as our ROG B8 or B860A motherboard up here. Okay. And a much more specialized form factor. I think that the MATX form factor needs a little love, and that's what we're trying to give with the uh, B860 G. Well, I think ROG is just the brand to do it. Yeah. Like, it's everything ROG puts out, every every component I've ever seen has been gorgeous. These are particularly incredible. Yeah. Like, the the size, the heft of these heat sinks, yeah. these cutaways, I, lo I love the negative space use yeah. there with the little peak at the RGB in there. This little accent is so cool. Yeah. I love that. What I think is really cool, though, is that you're not just getting the aesthetic side, you're also getting the thermal pad built in. Yeah. It's super simple to pull it off with that Q-Latch. What I like about the Q-Latch, too, is that it isn't just the um, heat spreader. It's also for the set screw. You can just set in a M.2 PC or SSD uh -huh. and just put this in, lock it in place, and you never have to worry about it. It's so much easier to pull it off that way. Yeah. And it comes That's awesome. Real nice. All right, let's... Yeah. Real quick, though, also, that screen is so cool. Yeah. I love that. Perfect. 